Welcome back to The Best of Investing. I'm Edward Brown, your host, along with Mark Hahn and Robert Schiff and our special guest, Don Fitzpatrick. Uh, first of all, let's go to the special promotion. Uh, the, the group war playing at Moore's Riverboat. We asked this trivia question. What was the game? That's in, it was introduced in the 1960s. Might you have heard from the person spinning the arrow? Right foot red or left foot yellow? Everyone, on the count of three. One, two, three. Twister. Twister. That is correct. And Mark, you made a comment off the oh, air. Oh, yeah. You know, especially <laughs> fun to watch uh, people play that game uh, in the nude. And how often did you do that? Oh, you've heard. Yeah. Is that you're, you're watching them play it and you're in the nude or they're playing <laughs> Okay, and then we also uh, cut to the second commercial break. We asked this uh, tri trivia question. Again, the uh, theme is science. The word SCUBA is an acronym for what? Did we stump everybody? I may be used to know. That. You used to, yeah, that I think I used to know too. Self contained underwater breathing apparatus. Look at that. All right. We are going to get right into email time. Mark, we received an email from a listener that asks, do you always make fixed interest rate loans or do you sometimes make adjustable rate loans? But to kind of explain that because people might not know what you do for a Sure, for new listeners, uh, I'm uh, president of Pacific Private Money Loans. Uh, we're also known as a hard money lender uh, operating out of Marin County. And most of our uh, borrower clients are real estate investors who come to us to help them uh, with leverage to um, acquire real estate, either to buy, fix, or flip, or to collect rental properties, or maybe to cash out, pull some cash out. Maybe they have one of the, maybe they're one of those rare people who have equity in real estate. There are actually st <laughs> still people out there, believe it or not, who own property free and, free and clear, and they want to pull some cash out and maybe invest in this uh, incredible market we're in right now. Um, and so, uh, you know, a hard money loan is typically. Uh, two things. Typically it's a fixed interest rate and typically the payments on that are interest only. So uh, third thing would be they're generally short term. Uh, they're intended to um, help a real estate investor execute a strategy as opposed to um, to be a, um, you know, an alter it's not really an alternative to bank financing uh, long term because people generally don't want to borrow at you know, 9, 10, 11 percent rates long term. But at those rates, you can certainly buy, fix, and flip property. Maybe it serves a purpose. Yeah, it's, it serves a purpose. It's a way to use leverage. And so uh, a lot of our clients, what they do is they either have uh, money, and certainly they can go pay all cash for a property. Let's say in Oakland, you can buy property uh, for $150,000 that hasn't been remodeled. And remodel it nicely, put it back on the market. Uh, even though inventory is tight right now, there's still money to be made uh, on most of those uh, and you could make yourself anywhere from twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars if you know what you're doing. Uh, and many of my borrower clients do know what they're doing, so we're uh, we're making lots of loans these days to um, rehabbers with experience uh, and charging anywhere, like I said, from you know nine to sometimes as high as twelve percent. It just really depends on you know where's the property, what's who's the borrower, what's their experience. Uh, now, so where, where do you get your money from? I know this isn't uh, part of the email question, but I'm sure listeners are kind of curious. But do you just have a bank loan of money? Well, and, and one of the reasons we don't do, you know, um, uh, I'm sorry, the question was uh, variable rate loans, right? Yes, versus sorry, fixed, go into right, that first. Right, and, and one of the reasons why we don't do variable rate loans is we're not a bank, and our source of funding is not the bank, it's not a line of credit, it's not a warehouse line of credit like a lot of private money lenders used to do years ago. Uh, our source of funds are just private individuals uh, using their self-directed IRA, or maybe they've got money in a trust, or however they hold their savings, um, uh, they are you know, frustrated by low bank yields, maybe they're frustrated with the stock market. Uh, we can offer them uh, anywhere from 8, 9, even 10 percent fixed rate for the use of their funds for as long as it's lent out, and it may be lent out for um, 6 to 8 months, it may be lent out for 12 to 24 months. Um, sometimes we do get requests for 36 month uh, or longer loans, so those, you know, again, those are more rare, but uh, um, you know, the private individuals who fund those loans there, you know, they love it. It's a great way to diversify your, um, your investment portfolio. It's a great way to boost the yield you're earning uh, on your retirement savings. And uh, we've got... Uh, so it's, a, I'm sorry to interrupt, no, it's allowable to use your uh, retirement savings for if you have a self-directed IRA, you can do that. So I get a call, I get several calls a week from this. I've got a 401k, can I invest in, in trustee secured notes? And then, you know, they 
only if the administrator allows it. Yeah, only if the administrator allows it. So oftentimes what people are doing is they're actually rolling it over into uh, to be held by a company that allows you to self-direct. And there's actually several companies in the Bay Area. And if you go to our website and look up my contact uh, number, uh, my name is Mark Hunt, and my number is there on the Best of Investing website. You can contact me. I'd be happy to send you some information on IRA custodians that will uh, let you open up an account and self-direct your IRA and you can buy real estate or loan on real estate, and uh, a lot of people are doing that right now. And and how do, people, do, do people have to, <coughs> do you sometimes lump several different investors together if you have somebody that needs a loan of $600,000 and there's a bunch of people who say, well, I really only have fifty or $70,000 to sometimes you I'm doing one of those right now, what's called fractionalizing. So we have a borrower who's got a beautiful property in Alameda to pull some cash out to invest in another property. It's a $450,000 loan, and a client called me this morning. He's a local Marin real estate uh, uh, professional, and he and a buddy want to go in on that note. And so uh, so that's that's very common. I have two or three people who like to invest in these things together. They maybe, one might know more about real estate than the other, so they trust that person's you know eyeballs to take a look at the opportunity and make a recommendation. Yeah, so I'm kind of curious, on that one, they're taking out 600000 just bought it all cash a couple months ago for just under nine hundred thousand dollars beautiful okay, home so in Alameda about recently fit, roughly fifty percent loan yeah, value. Fifty percent loan to value so the collateral is awesome. Good borrower wants to take advantage of an opportunity and so uh, you know, well, if he would have known that he probably would have just put four fifty down, saved the other four fifty. Yeah. So, so, so he probably paid all cash because he, he couldn't get financing. Well that's just it. Now, He's yes, actually so, a foreign okay. national has been in the country for a couple of years, has a driver's license and a social security number, but is not a U.S. resident. So banks are going to look at that. Or that's U.S. citizen. Yeah, he's yeah. not a U.S. citizen. Yeah. So he got the cheapest loan he could get. Right, the yeah. cheapest yeah. loan, yeah. The, the easiest money and the cheapest money he can get happens to be a hard money loan, yeah. and we're making him a loan at 10.5%. Which is lower than the first fixed interest rate I got when I bought a house. <laughs> <laughs> What's your default rate? You know, it's extremely low. Historically, hard money had a three to five percent default rate. Now it's less than one percent. We've written, for example, um, since our company was founded in 2008, we've written just under 400 loans, and we have only had, uh, I think, two or three that actually have gone through to foreclosure. The rest have, you know, had maybe a payment default, but then was caught up shortly. So it's just, it's almost, it's, it's negligible. It really is. It's, uh, it's amazingly low. And how did the listeners get a hold of you? Uh, they can go to our website at pacificprivatemoney.com. That's pacificprivatemoney, all one word, dot com, or uh, our telephone number, we're at 415-883-2150. You can always go to bestofinvesting.com and check Mark out there. And Mark, uh, why do I see Mark here? It's the pirate city. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah it's, it's the, the lone pirate. Because I'm looking at Mark, yeah, the lone <laughs> pirate there. Robert, I'm oh, sorry, Robert. Uh, question that we received from an email uh, from the listener. What's the difference between FHA loans and other home loans? Uh, an FHA loan is backed by the federal government. And the main difference is in the in lending environment today, you pretty much have to have 20% down to get a loan. There are some banks that will allow you to put down 10% and you can get private mortgage insurance and sometimes even 5%. An FHA loan will allow you to put down as little as three and a half percent. Um, and sometimes they are a little easier on the ratios that you need to qualify. Do you um, think kind of that, isn't that kind of how we got in trouble though? You know, putting people well, such Well, there are down. some people that think the FHA is gonna be the lender of last resort and down the road there may be significant problems with uh, their portfolio, but they're still trying to uh, allow people to re-enter the housing market. You still have to have satisfactory credit. You still have to have an income and qualify. And it's like that. It's like a regular loan. I mean, I remember but when the bankers were asking me, you know, like, gee, can you afford this rate? And they go, well, just lower the interest rate down to 1%, and then it's no problem. Well, yeah. We're not, we're we're not, not there, there yet. yet. But, uh, I mean, the, the, the interest rates on a 30-year fix are under 4%. They're in the mid-3s for a 30-year fix. Well, wow, the 10-year bond is only going to buck 53. I know. And, and who knows where it's going to go after we see what happens this weekend in Greece. And, uh, I mean, all, yeah. all the money from the world wants to be where it's most secure, and that's still here. Still in the United States. And Robert, how do people get a hold of you for getting loans? Uh, my company is RPM Mortgage. They can go to our website and look at RPM Mortgage forward slash Robert Ship, 
or you can call me at 415-515-1941. That's an easy phone number. All right, we're going to cut to our third and final commercial break, and here is the trivia question again. The theme is science. What two chemical elements comprise water? That's not too hard. The first three callers with the correct answer want a free three-day, two-night stay at the Lighthouse Resort. Again, their website is lighthouseforfun.com. Check them out. Weather's getting great. Be a fun place to visit. Call 888-912-1190. That's 888-912-1190 to answer this question. What two chemical elements comprise water? Make sure to include your name, email address, and remember to speak slowly and spell out your, your information one letter at a time. And we'll be right back. 